Well, hello everybody. It is Cyborg Night at the Adventure Archive. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We are kicking off Lucky Flight Takedown, which is the introductory adventure to Cyborg. It comes with the uh, the rule book, so right here. If you have read it already, you should still hang out and see how these uh, these punks deal with the uh, the situation at hand. But before I begin, I'm going to thank some people as always. McGlintlock, couldn't do this out without you, man. He made the Foundry module, among many other things. He's, he's basically like the Stockholm Cartel's Foundry developer, I guess. <laughs> but um, also, Carl Casey. That's right. Brain's working. Carl Casey at White Bat Audio. We are using his Cyberpunk stuff because it's quite appropriate. Go check him out on YouTube. You can also stream all of his stuff without fear of copyright strike. Um, but you can go support him on Bandcamp as well. You can buy all of his stuff for like 20 bucks. Oh, and I forgot to mention McGlintlock, glumdark.com. Thanks, Ryan, for putting the uh, the URL in there. That is a Patreon full of very cool roll tables. Not your standard roll tables. I know he has some for Dark Fantasy. He even has some stuff for uh, Death in Space. I don't know if he's gotten a cyborg yet, but go check him out. It's only a buck a month. Totally worth it. Um, that's all I got. Um, anything else anyone would like to chat about before we get this thing going how is I'm everybody good. by the way you guys great I'm so good <laughs> waking up lively bunch good don't forget those don't forget those stims and bugs oh too. yeah 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 sorry i for, failed to mention look in the bottom left corner of your screen we have stims and bugs those are blesses and banes so a stim is for the players that gives them a plus one d4 to any uh d20 roll so ability check attack roll whatever you want to give me a bug that is a d4 for me to roll against them so that will uh subtract the d4 from any roll that i choose d20 stems only stems only in this game stems only so everybody uh you can spend, you can spend uh bits or uh or uh channel points on those i think right yep both yeah it's uh what is it 1500 xp or 150 bits mm-hmm yeah, and I know Sculpting Chin, if you are in the chat, let me know because I we missed your donation last time. And I think you bought I think you bought a stem, but we didn't know it was for who it was, so they're all at zero. Hashtag unfortunately. No bugs. No bugs. Hashtag no bugs. <laughs> Only stems. <laughs> all right, I guess he's not here, so we will um if he shows up in the chat, somebody somebody uh, call it out so we can, so I can get that bug. <laughs> All right, well, you punks, you four punks, let us begin. I'm gonna drop you into a new scene momentarily. Okay, where are you guys? All right, there's Fu. Oh yeah, Jess, did you learn how to pronounce your character's name correctly yet? Uh, I think so. Think so? You think you got it? Yeah, it just sounds awkward because it sounds very Swedish and my character is not Swedish. So I'm talking like this and I'm just like, Mona. Mona, okay. Mona. Or we can right. just go Maine. <clears throat> Maine? Yeah, I like Maine. <laughs> Maine. Okay, do you guys have your tokens visible? Do you guys see everything? Yes? All right, cool. All right, you're right. Let's begin this thing. <clears throat> so we decided off stream that you guys all know each other. So we, we don't need to do any introductory, like you said, Ryan, I don't, how do I know I can trust you? So <laughs> we're going to assume these four punks, they've been doing some jobs together on the streets of Psy. So you got a tip recently. And um, it's from someone you can trust. So the four of you players, based on your background, is there an individual that you think you can trust that you got a tip for a, for a job? I think there's some people in your pasts, at least one or two of you. No? I did not roll for past people, I don't think. Okay. I, I have someone I can trust, but they're the person that's in a hospital that I owe money. Oh, so you're you're indebted to someone you can trust. Yes. That sucks. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just um, 
we'll, 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 we'll say it's somebody you can trust and leave it at that. So it has led you to a warehouse. So you are on the border of the ports and Big Moss. So it's, it's kind of a, a location that is, uh, there's just abandoned warehouses everywhere. There's muck as always. There's just uh, bent and twisted, dilapidated, just metal everywhere. There's canals that are running through it as, as well. Um, and you guys take to get this tip and you make your way to this bar. It's basically a shitty warehouse. That's what you see right now. And it looks like there's a makeshift bar tucked back in there. You get out of the acid rain. It is, it is a, it's a hefty downpour, but you can see that some of the drops are falling in through the, the holes in the roof, puddling around. You, you got to step over some dead animals that um, decided to take a drink out of one of these acid rain pools and, and didn't quite fare so well. But anyway, the note you got, it was paper. It's actually old school paper. And it directed you to come here because you guys are all indebted, as you know. You guys owe a lot of creds. Um, and the, the tip was is that you won't get paid in creds, but you may receive, if successful, a decommissioned patrol car. So you could sell that, and you guys had to walk your asses all the way here. So a ride might be pretty sweet, too. But anyway, you guys walk into this uh, very dilapidated warehouse, wires, you know, tangling the ceiling. Like I said, the, the heat of the, you know, neons just flashing in your faces and you kind of collect yourselves. But as the neon from behind the bar and above it strike just your character, Monet, what do we see? Um, you see... A, I'm describing myself here, right? Yeah, describe. This is basically where you can describe not what you just what you look like, but who are you playing? What is your character, and what is your character all about? In case they missed the episode zero. So you see a renegade slasher. Um, I am beastie with radiant eyebrows. I have retractable claws. They're probably retracted right now though oh did we decide if they're like fingernail claws or if they're wolverine claws yeah i think they're gonna be fingernail claws fingernail claws okay yeah <laughs> um <clears throat> i'm smoking oh smoking a, you're a, you got a smoking problem i think you and foo right yeah we're both chain smokers chain smokers so i'm smoking my claws retract so you can't see them but i still look a little beastie I have a trench coat on that slightly conceals my ancient blade. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, I can <laughs> show your character art, I guess, right? Yeah, I mean, it says a frenzied flurry of chrome, murder, and bloodstained steel. So, you know, I've got some some metal parts. Metal parts. I have a cybernetically enhanced bod cybernetically enhanced bod <laughs> okay um and you're inverted a inverted this the just this almost looks like a negative kind of oh yeah okay well that is uh mona so shouldering up beside her shaking off the rain barely able to fit through the door i don't know maybe stands reeve so ryan tell us uh, about reeve yeah, so Reeve is a discharge uh, core killer. Um, they were a good soldier in a bad company, always fighting someone else's war of greed. The capitalism crushed my enthusiasm and I was discharged without severance. Uh, when I left, one of the things you notice, first of all, I guess style-wise, I'm, I'm tech-noir. So basically, it's like cyberpunk tech wear, but there's like, the top is more of like a suit jacket, kind of, but like very hard edges. But spilling from the wrists is lace. And at the collar, too, is coming out. <laughs> um, but it, yes. it all has these like lights that kind of like go through it. It's almost like a almost more like a um, like a tech mesh kind of. So we'll occasionally just have like pink lights just kind of like flash through the lace. Um, for some reason, I'm wearing a lot of belts. 
I'm really into belts right now. Are they are and, they um, only around your waist or are they like everywhere? No, like it's like I'll have like little belts, big belts are like strapped on like my thighs, like strapped like right here. They're just kind of like all over. Um, but I am I do have a couple of belts on my waist. Um, I have long hair um, that's coming out from um, I don't know, probably a variety of different headgear. But uh, <laughs> as I'm standing there, I'm chewing on it. Um, and uh, kind of a little of this action, too. And just like, oh, a little scratchy, a little. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, and, uh, and that's my guy. I owe debt um, like we all do. Um, but that's that's my guy, my Tech Noir core killer. Oh, oh, the, the other big thing you notice is um beneath my coat is this kind of large like it's kind of like a like a vest it's like metallic um but coming up from behind is this large laser cannon that just kind of like slots in beside me and uh it's kind of attached to this rig on my chest um and uh yeah you might you might you might notice that the giant laser cannon. Yeah, and that's my guy. That's Reeve. Cool. That is Reeve. On his hair. So mm -hmm. Reeve is chewing on his hair. He steps aside with his. What'd you say? You had pink, pink lights flashing. It's it's like it's like lace trimming, but it almost looks more like ah, like, like filament like almost netting. like. Yeah, almost a filament. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. And occasionally, like a light will like dance through it, like it's like it's energized in some way. Okay. Seemingly drawn by this dancing light, this filament light around Reeve. In steps another individual uh, who is named Fu. So, Ducky, why don't you tell us about Fu? Or as I think he's going to earn the nickname FU, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, Fu has a giant, bright green and yellow mohawk. Um, stands way too tall. Uh, he sticks out in any room that he stands in, but that's the point. Um, he runs the aesthetic as Doom Trooper. Uh, so just, he's got one shoulder pad that is just covered with way too many spikes that look like they probably stick him in the neck if he turns, you know, just a little too much. Um, but he just kind of looks bitter and reluctant to be there. Um, you know, he's been kind of cast out from his gang. And so he's just got to, you know, earn some money, get back up on his feet and hopefully get rid of this debt that he owes to his uh, childhood bully. Okay, cool. That is Fu. Last but not least, stepping in off the street, shaking his hair free of the acid rain, I guess, or not, is uh, Shade. So Hunter, let us know a little bit about Shade. Yeah, so I feel like Shade stumbles through the door and is like, He's, he's dressed, he has a very minimalist style, so it's just block colors, right? He's got a green parka with hood on, black pants, black boots. And, like, as he, like, stumbles through the door, he's wearing his big, you know, his AR goggles that are hooked into his cyber deck under his parka. And he's, like, playing some AR mindless, like, Pokemon knockoff. <laughs> um, and just stumbles through the door, and as he does, he, like, bumps into Reeve, who's, I imagine, fairly large um, and just not aware of what's going on. He's He's... Uh, he's fairly frail um, when you look at him. He's very skinny, and when he like lifts his arms with Parker, you can see under the parka some glowing from the respirator keeping him alive. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's um, awesome. And I also rolled I, for this guy. I rolled one HP. So like seriously, oh. he's like, yeah. I this guy is so unbelievably breakable. Yeah, he's all he's like kind of beat up in scars, and you can kind of see him under the big kind of like tinted AR goggles that he wears all the time. Um, but yeah, he's just having a ball, you know, he's just, you know, catching his, you know, Gazorp, Gazorp Mon. <laughs> um, yeah. Do you have, um, I forgot to ask, you have one hit point, but do you have any armor? Um, yeah, so I have, um, yeah, I got the style guard, so I have a minus D2. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, at best you have, at best you have <laughs> three hit points, right? Damage. Yeah, if you take one, the yeah. Right. The real question is, did you roll up a backup character yet? Uh, <laughs> that's actually honestly not a terrible plan. It's not. And you know what? McGlintlock, I see in the chat, he has an amazing just, hey, create a character, one click. So we can do that if it, if it, if it comes down to it. Okay. Sick. All right. <laughs> so uh, all of you four, you all walk into this bar and you're kind of looking around. There's a couple patrons, but it's, it's, it's pretty dead. 
It's not crowded by any stretch. And there's a bar man that is backlit by this, this harsh neon light. And he's kind of looking at you. But most of the place is shadowed with the exception of any of the light from the, uh, the outside coming in, splashing into the, uh, into the space. But there's some very, so you have a, a very harsh contrast of light and shadow in here. And uh, who would like to uh, have the, the message, the old school paper message? You guys aren't used to paper. You're used to everything. I don't everything. think Shade's touching paper, man. <clears throat> you know, I don't think that's his digs. You know. So, anybody else? I'll do it. You want to do it? Okay. I'm gonna retract a single claw and like. Oh, poke it. like this little envelope. Okay. So. Or, yeah, if it's an envelope, then I'll use a claw to like envelope open it. So you got information, like I said, to come to this this warehouse that has like a shitty bar inside. Uh, you slice open this paper, you look inside, and it says simply, order a piss boy at the bar. Sick. Right. It's a little meta, shout, but... Shout, shout out. <laughs> shout, shout out to the piss boys playing bastards out there. Like, I, like Shane leans <laughs> over and he like pulls up his goggles. He's got like a line imprinted from them just always being on. Uh -huh. He's like... What's a piss boy? <laughs> Dang, I'm extra glitchy right now. I know. Like even more than before. <laughs> uh, Sounds bad. I'll order a round of piss boys, I think. Yeah, okay. Can you get me... A, why don't you order y'all piss boys and can you get me a beer? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're getting a piss boy. <laughs> and a beer. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> All right, so uh, Monet, you 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 walk up to the bar, the bartender. You can barely see his face because again, he's just completely backlit almost, and he just has the uh, the hiss of the acid rain is is falling on his bare shoulders. And he says, "Yeah, what can I get you?" <clears throat> um, I'll take four piss boys and one beer, please. Four piss boys, huh? <laughs> never gets old, never gets old. And, uh, but he, he kind of pauses and stares at you for a moment, and then he looks over your shoulder at the rest of your, your other three companions. And then he goes uh, to the bar, he turns his back to you, he starts working on these drinks. Finally, after a couple minutes, he, uh, he turns around, and he, uh, he slams uh, four glasses of this bubbly yellow liquid onto the bar top in addition to another bubbly yellow liquid that may or may not be a beer <laughs> on the house on the house enjoy enjoy right. and Thank you know you. what there's only one place to sit in this joint and that's over there and he points over your shoulder to like it's like a pocket of just blackness it doesn't look like there's anything there you can see that the two walls kind of, you know, are connecting perpendicularly, but um, within there is just like the vacuum of space almost. All right. I'll head over there, I guess. Okay. So what, what about the, the three of you? Are you joining up with her? Are you getting your drinks? Are you Shades examining like the drink? Fever. What do you, what do you yeah. think? And Beat Saber. Beat Saber. Yeah. The real world sucks, man. Got to keep it <laughs> virtual. Got to keep it virtual. I mean, if you hand Shade a beer, he'll drink the beer. So. I'm gonna hand him a piss boy and a beer. Yeah. Oh, he's like, okay. <clears throat> Double fisting it. All right. It's just you know, and he puts it down back to Beat Saber. Okay. <laughs> you uh, you take a swig, Shade, and you feel great. You feel better than great. Something happened that maybe you can hang on to for a little while. And so that is going to be your first stem of the evening. So let me update the... Uh... Tastes like piss, but you feel great. Oh, this tastes like piss. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel great. I feel great. <laughs> Give me another. Shout out Bear Grylls, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you have, let's see, did it update? 
Yeah, there we go. All right. Bottom right screen are where your stems are going to be. So um, as he's drinking down this beer and this piss boy, what are the rest of you doing? Well, yeah, I'm all about that piss boy. Yeah. yeah. All right. You guys are all pissing it up. Okay. You know, you know how we do here. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 you swig it down and you almost choke on the foam. Does taste kind of bitter, and not beer bitter, but you all feel great. So I have bestowed the only gift I'm going to give you this evening. Everybody wow. has a has a stem. Okay, so you guys are standing there. You're feeling invigorated, despite the the shitty uh, surroundings you're in. But as you're standing there, looking over at this uh, this shadowy space. Shadow is probably not the best word, like I said. You see the is flash. It is it shady? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's very shady. You're very drawn to it. You see a flash of what looks like a, a hand torch, like a small hand torch. And then you see the glow of a cigarette. And it gets brighter. And then you see these two eyes illuminate in the darkness. And these, the eyes and this cigarette um, illuminate a face. And this is the face you see. If I can uh, grab the image here. So you see this gentleman sitting all alone in a, a booth made of crates, cardboard boxes, and he waves all of you over. I, well, I proceed, I'm like, I like take off and I'm like, look at them, I look at him, I look at them, I look at him. Okay. Oh yeah, I I see the cigarette and I'm heading over. I'm gonna try to bum one. Oh yeah, that's right. Fu oh, and yeah. Mane are probably very enticed by the cigarette. Okay. I follow. Purely you guys out of follow. curiosity. You okay. Know? So Fu and Reeve, what are you doing? Following. Yeah, same. I'm following. Okay. Yeah. yeah so you guys uh, head over to this uh, this again makeshift booth. Uh, he makes room for you guys. Well, there's room on either side of him. He offers you a seat. Um, he he seems like he doesn't quite fit in here. He's wearing a suit. It's kind of soiled. It's kind of wrinkled. Looks like maybe he's worn it a few days. He's not sporting a, uh, a punk haircut whatsoever. A little greasy, but, uh, you know, it's it's manicured. It's cut nicely. He looks like a salary man to you. Someone who's working for the corpse, probably. Mm. And, and, and even though he's trying to look tough with his eyes, with a cigarette, with the entire thing he set up here, he, he kind of is, is almost slouching, sinking into himself, a little bit timid. And you can see his, his hand slightly shaking when he goes up for another puff. Sick corpo gear, slug. What are you about? Hey, uh... Thank, thanks for coming. Uh, how, how are the drinks? Hope they're great. Yeah? These, uh... These from you? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm guessing you got my, uh... My summons. I'm gonna take my piss boy, what's left of it, and just hold it out over the table and just, like, pour it out over the table. <laughs> Oh, okay. He, I, don't, he, I don't even want the stem. Yeah. You, <clears throat> oh, you're not drinking it. Okay. Mm, fuck that. Look fuck at this that. Corpse look. look at that. Sorry, my friend's really anti-corpo. You know, like, wait, I mean, can you blame hey, him? You, you got to understand, a, a man's got to do what he's got to do to provide for his family. I, I understand, but I I could use some help from, from, from people like you, yourselves. Okay. So, um... I'm a community man, and uh, we've been taken advantage of, manipulated, one might say. There's a casino called the Lucky Flight Casino. I'm sure you saw it on your way in here, and you guys did. You saw this uh, massive tower of what looked like an apartment complex. Uh, at the base of it was a, the gaudiest casino you can imagine, just lights flashing everywhere, no design aesthetic whatsoever, just more, more, more. 
So uh, my my entire entire neighborhood, we've just been we've been tricked. You see, tricked, debilitating debt. And um, this casino has is who we owe. We we owe them, and they're they're going to come for us if we don't pay up. Even a friend of mine, my friend Batu, he uh, he owns a bodega, and he went and tried to settle the score himself, but he hasn't come back. So um, I don't have much to offer. You understand? I don't make any money. I barely make ends meet, but um, I have a car. It's a decommissioned patrol car. You can sell it. You can keep it. You can do whatever you want with it. But if you um, find a way to eliminate the debt or hell, shut down the casino entirely because they are nothing but trash, I will give you this car. And you know, if you, if you find out what happened about two, maybe there'll be a little bit something extra. You got any extra cigs? Oh, of course, of course. So he kind of nervously digs in his pocket and then uh, checks a few pockets, actually, before he produces a cigarette and uh, lights it and, well, he hands it to you and then he Two lights it for you. Two. Okay, he grabs Lights. another one, hands it to you. All right, I'll hand one to Fu. Okay. How much debt are we talking here? Oh, I don't know. It's 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 nearly everybody. Every family is is indebted. We were tricked, I tell you, tricked. They 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 run a dirty show over there. It's not honest, not honest work. I swear those machines are rigged. The slots for sure. Mm. We we stay away from cards and everything, but they they have cards. But I mean, we're talking tens of thousands of credits. Something we'll never be able to pay back. So um. So you want us to burn it down? Well, that peaks what I want attention. you to do is keep a low profile. Murder mm. is just going to add, it's just going to complicate things. So do what you got to do, but try to keep it quiet if you can. Or at the very least, make it look like somebody else did it. So fire is a bad idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would say so. I mean, there are times when this place is closed. It's not always open. Between 7 and 10 a.m., I think, it's closed. They got a skeleton crew there. Minimal security, but I don't really know all that's inside. All other times, they're they're open to the public, to anyone. Maybe you could scope it out. I don't know. It's up to you. How you want it to do it is up to you. Just, if you can, keep a low profile. I would much appreciate it. Mm. It's not the fault of the patrons, you understand. And there is an apartment building rising up from it, so... Uh, you could uh, mm -hmm. could be many casualties, let's say. Okay, I think we accept. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Reeve doesn't. Reeves. All right, I just like so yeah. So the other thing is, my guy is definitely big as fuck. Like he's probably like six four before he puts his boots on. And they probably have like a little platform situation. The dude's probably standing like six six, um, and he's got this fucking laser cannon, like kind of tucked under some fabric, but probably not really. And he just like hands down on the table, just, like looming over the guy, and he's like, you know, it's hard to fucking listen to you, but let me get this straight. You want us to? Get money back from a fucking casino that some corpse scum wasted, and we get fucking wheels. Well, That's I, the fucking deal. No, no, no. You, you misunderstand. I, I just want the debt eliminated. I don't need. We don't need the money back. We just need the record of debt eliminated. And I, I, I do know there's an offline storage where all the data is kept in the basement. I don't give a fuck. 
Reeve, think of the children. There's also a, a power source in the basement. I mean, maybe maybe you can sneak in and shut it down temporarily. I, I, I don't know. And now you're telling us how to do our own I, I, fucking I, I, job. I don't know. If I don't know. I'm just easy. Then you could fucking do it. Of course I can. Fucking scum. Do it. I just walk away from the table. Okay. So he I looks. Think he's he, in. He, he, he looks up at the <laughs> three of you. Kind of, kind of worried because of, of how that went down, because uh, he knows you're with him. Are, are, are you guys still in? Are you still in? You gonna do this for me? For, for the community? For the people? It's not for the corpse. It's for the people. You gotta understand. I just do what I gotta do to make a living for my family. That's it. For the children, guys. Come on. The Fuck them the kids. Children. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I kind of just want other people to fail, but <clears throat> if you keep these cigarettes coming, I guess, I guess I'm in. I, I, I'll throw in, I'll throw in ten cartons if you want. Will, will, will that sweeten the deal? Sure. What can we do to get your friend to comply, though? He seems like he's uh, has, for lack of a better word, persuasion skills. You know, bullets, you kind of just aim them, really, you know? True. So can you give us any other information about, like, the, the data setup um, to this casino? So all I know is in the basement. So around is are these canals. You see them everywhere. And you guys have seen them everywhere. They're just kind of, it's a labyrinth of canals and just metal shit. Um... I think there might be a back way, potentially. You might need a boat, or maybe you can scale the wall, I, I don't know. But uh, I know there's a power source in the basement, and I know somewhere there is an, an offline data collection, so you could wipe it, you could destroy it, I don't know. That's why That's why I need you. I, I, I don't, that's, that's all the info I really have. But, but like I said, I, I just, please, I, I don't want to see anybody to get hurt too bad. So if you got to shed a little blood, just keep it, keep it light, I guess. <laughs> okay. You can tell by this guy, he's very, he's very nonviolent. He, 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 he basically completely recoiled into nothingness when Reeve approached the table and slammed his hands down. So, um... It's tough to know if if he's genuinely concerned about people dying or if it just the the, the idea of it uh, just kind of makes him sick. All right, I think we'll head over. Okay. All right, he lets out a big sigh. He's like, <clears throat> "I'm back here in two days' time, and I'll have your your car." And your, your cigarettes. Sorry, I didn't forget. Okay, so you guys heading over to the uh, the lucky I feel like flight. We have to talk to Reeve first. Yeah, okay. so you guys are. Yeah, where'd you go, Reeve? You like to kind of just stand, uh, trudged off, just right? Cry, no, I, I stormed I, away. I tr I trudged back to the bar, and I'm definitely like started talking to the bartender a little bit and uh you know i'm like so you fucking got her or not you said that to the bartender yeah got what um you, you know did, maybe you, something a little hard maybe something a little harder than uh than a piss boy if you know what i mean yeah i saw you didn't like the piss boy back there you dump it all over my table yeah you you gonna you gonna you gonna clean that up? And you look over there, and it's just uh, like everything's filthy, completely filthy. So it's it's kind of like you know what the fuck. Yeah, let me just remember which stain it was. Uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but hey, listen, you know, do you got you got some you got something a little harder than a piss boy? Uh, maybe. I like uh, sit down hard next to him. I do vert. <laughs> Let's get this man some vert. 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 Um, 
I'll tell you what. I'll get you some vert if you, you help out my friend over there. I, I saw you were a little disagreeable to his request. You have to hey, understand. Listen, I ain't friends with no corporal scum, and if hey, you're hey, friends hey, with hey. him too, I don't. He's a good man. Sometimes you got to do things you don't want to do. I'm sure you know that. And he kind of looks you up and down. But I'll get Maybe you your you drugs. Could throw in a belt. <laughs> he loves a belt. Listen, I do like a good belt. Just saying. He like looks down and he like... he looks down and he 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 takes off his own belt and holds it up and drops it. It's got bottle right, caps all, all right. over it. Yeah. So you really want some, belt. You, you want Snap some belt? You want some closure? <laughs> a couple bottle cap accents. I'll take it. All right. And you want some? Listen, vert? you th you throw in that vert. I'll go wipe down that table and I'll do uh do what I got to do. All right. All right. So he goes and disappears for a little while. Some uh, other people shuffle in off the street, but then quickly turn away, back out. Let me find the uh, the vert section here. Oh wait, maybe I have it up on the PDF. Because I don't even know what it does. What does it do? I so don't fucking three, know. I just want it. It's three hundred and fifty <laughs> credit credits normally. So um, oh, is it really? Oh, I can't afford no. that. Yeah. Hey, I said throw it in. That's that's what I said. Okay, so it's uh, D six <laughs> <Yeah>, hours, <what> D <laughs> six hours of powerful hallucinations shared with other users. Oh. No weaker dose available. Okay, interesting. So you'll, I guess, if there's other people high on it, you'll all hallucinate together. Is that what that means? <laughs> yeah, it's like it's I like really. a high aura. Yeah. Okay, he uh, he comes back out, and um, he's got this little this little pouch, this little paper pouch, and he he looks at you and he licks across the tip of it, and then smashes it down and hands it over to you. And then he I gives you he gives you a one of the... gives you one of these. Yeah, I catch it. Oh. <laughs> He winks at you. Listen, he winks a shade. I batted away. <laughs> more than an air smooch for drugs, just saying. And I, I open up one of the pouches on my mini belt, and I just like tuck it away for right now. Okay. Like take one of my like strings of hair and just like gnaw on the thing, trying to stop from taking it right now. <laughs> All right, make sure to. I just I've just set us up for a really good time, y'all. You have no yeah, idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's gonna be interesting. So, um, you get your drugs. Make sure to make note of it on your character sheet so you don't forget about it. And um, I guess is everybody in? Are we heading over to the lucky flight? Yeah. So what's our what's our plan of act? Okay. So this is we're we're gonna rob this place, right? We're all very clear that we're gonna rob this place, right? Okay. Perfect. Awesome. I don't care about what that guy said at all about anything. We're gonna rob this place. Um, <laughs> So do we want to like case the joint first while it's open or take the back way? Do we look like people that would go here? What, Ooh, or would we yeah. stand out? Oh, sorry. What? Say that again. Do we look like people that would go here or would we stand out? Oh, yeah. You, yeah, that you definitely would fit in totally fine. Yeah, hey, so real quick, we, do we gamble? Does this thing count as an item, or is it just like tucked in? I would say it doesn't count as an item. Yeah, it's so small. Um, I would just make note of it. That's what she said. <laughs> so, um, speaking of, in the chat, someone asked if we can buy any items. Do you guys want to purchase anything or seek anything out before you go case this place, or whatever you're gonna do? Are you, I, are you a, I, have a, I have almost no credits and I have a cyber deck and a weapon, so I think this is I'm as good as I'm getting right now. There you go. I'm poor as shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. I okay. think I think I wanted I think I did want something if I could. Uh, do you remember what page the drugs were on? It's, I know it's a giant page that says yeah, drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know. <laughs> it's uh it's on page sixty six. Oh here it is, drugs. Okay. Uh Vert, yeah, V R T D six hours of powerful hallucination, share by other users. Boom. Vert. 
Ooh, that's a okay. uh, is that uh, the I most did... expensive drug on here too? Dang, it is. That resale ba value, baby. Now nah, we're about to break that up in microdose. You know, <laughs> it's about to be a real adventure. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, I did want to buy uh, something. I have a total of what do we got? I got forty credits. Okay. And all I have is a laser cannon. Okay. So I did want to pick something else up. Does anyone have any uh -huh. creds they want to throw my way so I can be a little more useful in like a fight since I'm a giant? Are Are you looking for weapons or just gen general equipment? I think the weapons, because I really think the only thing I have is this heavy laser cannon, and something else would be really nice. Yeah, I need another weapon as well. I wouldn't actually mind a better weapon than throwing knives. Knives. You literally rolled, like, the worst armor, the lowest possible HP, and nothing but throwing knives? Yeah, I, yeah, absolutely. Yep. I have, uh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> and not, not just any, it was too many throwing knives, right? Is it's that what you too have? many, thro I have too many throwing knives. They're just everywhere, you know? <laughs> Oh, mean dude in the two chat. Attacks per round. That's dope. It says, don't forget a charging cable for your deck. Do you need that? Does that not come with Do I not have a charging cable? Just. I figured you is would. It's like some Apple like, peripheral bullshit <laughs> that I have to buy. And... Charger. Let's see what the charger What is the charger? It's fucking. Uh... Uh, the the charging cables don't work on the new model. Cable? <laughs> I, I, yeah. I, don't, I don't see any charging. I know. I don't see any charging <laughs> cables in the um, in the book. Well, just for, for yeah, I have yeah, a yeah, yeah. With me. Yeah. I, oh, means just kidding. Gotcha. So because I remember, um, I remember there was batteries in Death in Space. Like you did have to charge stuff. Yeah. So it sounds like a Death in Space thing. Yeah. Um, if I wanted to buy, is there like a gun or something I can buy that's not? So let me gun? let me uh, bring up the list here. Where I was I, I was just at it. I was just at it. Dang it, where do the one. weapons go? No. Weapons. I, I mean, some weapons aren't too expensive. There's, um, where'd it go? There it is. So there's, um, you can get a taser for 20 credits. You can get a machete uh -huh. for 20. You can get, uh, too many throwing knives for 30. Power tool for 35, chainsaw for 40, 9mm pistol for 60. That's the one. Or an ancient revolver, that's pretty cool, for 50. Those are uh, a flashbang for 25, that could be cool. Hand mm -hmm. grenade for 45, uh, pulse grenade for 60, so everything else is pretty expensive. I think I'm going to get a yeah. flashbang and a 9mm. Okay. Uh, why don't you roll me a... Um... Shit, I should probably know. Um, let's see. The ability scores here. Um, let's do a give me a presence check, Shade, and let's see what you get. You got a six. Oh, I am. Okay. You know, listen. so it's gonna be it's gonna be full price. <laughs> it's gonna Same. be full price. I mean, it's you know he's he's really rail thin with a respirator under his all, all forest green parka. This, this guy's not scaring anybody. Yeah. Yeah, you could, I mean, a uh, flashbang could definitely get you out of a situation. Yeah. Okay, so flashbang, a... 9 mil. So how, that's, what was it, 85? Uh, no, a uh, flashbang is 25. Yeah, and then the 9 mil is 60. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, sorry. So it's 115. Uh, also, we got a raid from Murder Hobos <laughs> and Joker Bros. Thank oh, you guys. welcome. Thank you for the raid, everybody. We're clearly in the middle of Cyborg. So these, uh, these four punks have just taken a job to... Um, from a salary man, reluctantly, to uh, go corporate to a casino, scum. yeah, corporate scum, to go, um, um, they, they've been taken advantage of. So his entire community is in debilitating debt. So they've agreed to go to this casino and either wipe all of the data or who knows, maybe blow it up. There's talks going on. But thanks again for the raid. Yeah. Hang out to see um. you. Again. Does anyone have any extra credits or just like, you know, got laid around? I, I, like, I, like, how, I like how Reeves like, I like how his bumming technique. <laughs> Does anybody have any uh, credits? Any of them uh, credits I, I laying around? I 25 uh, credits you can have. That's that's it. Yeah, boy. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get one of them uh, 9mm pistols too. Okay. So uh, the, bartender is, is, the bartender is the bartender. 
Hey, if nine, you want a discount, 15. if you want a discount, attempt a discount. Or you can uh, give me yeah, a good I'm story gonna... if you want to not roll. I can, uh, I'll give him a couple of air smooches. See if it, uh... <laughs> See All right, give me helps. a give me a presence check and let's see um, what happens. All right, where's uh fuck? Okay, strength, agility, oh, presence is the this guy. Did I roll presence? Oh, I clicked it and an ad bot came up. Did you click the? There you go. It's funny. okay. Yeah. Thirteen. So, what are you trying to get again? Uh, the nine millimeter pistol. Nine millimeter, which is, where is it? It's 60. He'll knock 10 credits off, so he'll give it to you for 50. A little bit of a nice. discount. He's scared of that so, big fucking cannon you keep in the middle of your chest or whatever, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So did you, did you kind of blow him a kiss? Is that how you persuaded him? Yeah, I definitely uh, pulled oh, up my lace man. a little bit, you know? So even and, uh, though his even though his face is in shadow, you saw him blush. Oh, look it at was that. that! It was that that effective. All right. He liked your Hey, I'll be, I'll, I'll be I'll be back, yeah. Oh man, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I fucking hope so. And he shivers. <laughs> okay. Ryan's getting comfortable. He's never RP no, hey, like listen, that before. It's turning hey, into the third I, episode I, of. I, I thought about it. I do got the lace. <laughs> Can um, I call you Frank? Right. Will you throw in some super glue? <laughs> it's on the sheet. <laughs> you want some super glue? Yeah. No, hey. No super lube. Oh, super lube. <laughs> That's on the sheet. Yeah, there's super lube and super oh, glue. Oh shit! It's only 15 credits. Yeah, he uh, he, regularly, he slides you. over a little super lube. The canister looks a bit used, but it's transparent, so you can see that it is full of lube. No, it's Wonderful. not for me. Um, oh, I know, I know, sweetheart, I know. Uh, I think I want to get a. Ooh. Um, a lock pick. Okay. How much is the lock pick? Let's see here. Lock picks, electronic locks, or mechanical? No, Ooh, dang! You can't afford electronic. Jeez. No. Three hundred credits. So twenty-five for mechanical lock. This place is probably not mechanically locked, though. Um. Shopping episode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to come to this, but here we are. Okay, wait. I'm going to get a spray can. <laughs> okay. Spray can. Oh, yeah. Do you want to roll Do you want to roll a presence to try to convince him, or do you want to give me a, you know, RP me a good story as to how uh, you should, um, you I'll might get a, a discount. I'll roll a presence. Okay. Roll me a presence check. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> He doesn't seem to be very sweet on you, Mane. Yeah, he's not charmed by my kind. No, 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 no. All right. I'll still get it. Okay. Foo. What do you mean, your kind? <laughs> Renegade slasher. <laughs> there it is. I'm sure. Do you want anything, Foo? You need any um, equipment? I think... I'm gonna buy just a grappling hook crossbow. Oh shit! Okay. For How much 25. is that? Twenty five. Do you wanna do you wanna try a, a persuasion on this guy? Uh, no, I'm good. Oh dang! You're <laughs> gonna pay full price. Okay. Twenty five credits. It is. Very honest customer. Yeah. He looks a little bit disappointed. <laughs> he was so he was hoping uh, you might tell him something. I'm just gonna take a, a handful of the lube and use it to kind of straighten oh, up my mohawk. Yeah, <laughs> and then just walk away. You see, he he uh, right before you turn around, he 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 wipes a, a fresh layer of sweat off his brow. <laughs> all right, all oh, right, guys. <laughs> you, you to us, you to us. Man, 
All right, so you guys all have your gear, I guess. Are you guys all done? I think so. All I'm right. regretting buying weapons instead of armor, but you know, you you really you only live once, especially this guy. Yeah, so. <laughs> one hit point, respirator. <laughs> I think so. I think um, death might be in your future, but we'll see. All right, <laughs> so I'm just gonna give you guys a little um, art here. Just to show you what it looks like. Did I get everybody? No, 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 no. Ooh. So this is what you see as you approach. So um, you find that the entrance of the lucky flight, it's, um, you have to, you have to walk up these broken down escalators to reach this, um, this, uh, this platform, this walkway that is, that is flanked in um, the, these, these metal fences uh, you could see you could easily squeeze through most of them. A lot of the wires broken through. Nothing's been um, kept up. But down below you is is just the blackness of the canal, the water in the canal. You see all the crazy lights reflecting down on the surface. And um, yeah, you make your way toward the entrance of this casino. Is there anything you want to do while you're on the outside? Or do you want to just proceed through the front doors? I'm looking for cameras. Yeah, you know, okay. I'm looking for for digital devices, connection points. Like, yeah, you, you, I'm, like, I'm you, like a hacker who's like on the job now and sober. So I'm like, yeah, okay. yeah. So you you kind of you know you shield you try to like get a good look, and you see the glint of of some cameras right above the walkway, kind of just sweeping slowly back and forth. They don't look to your eye because you know you have you have an eye for tech. They don't look to be um, crazy high tech. Mm. Kind of, you know, I don't know. Last year's model, whatever you want to call it. The ring, it's a ring camera. <laughs> yeah. One of those doorbell, shitty doorbell cameras. <laughs> All right, so you guys are... Um, what about Reeve, Mane, and Fu as you guys um, are walking down this concrete uh, walkway with the acid rain drizzling? All of the light catching it. What are you guys doing? All the light. <laughs> you um, are Kanye. we so? Is that is that Kanye? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Canceled. Sorry. Would no. Hey. No. <laughs> Listen, we're anti-fascist here, isn't that the Listen, whole thing? Listen, that's getting edited out. Uh, <laughs> I never do. Yeah, we don't like. Hey, so uh, are we are we being conspicuous? Or are we being inconspicuous? Like, what's our goal here? Are you asking me or are you talking to the party? I guess I, I guess a little bit of both. So as well, you guys are standing scoping. here, yeah, you're just scoping it out. Clearly this place scoping. is open. The lights are blazing. There's some uh, people shouldering by you on this narrow walkway uh, going into the, um, to the entrance. And as the doors open, they part as these people go in. You see um, there's a crowd of people and um, there's some, it looks like some bouncers who are kind of keeping an eye on the inside and the outside. But then the door closes back again and you guys are left. And this periodically keeps happening. So people will trickle in, trickle out. It's not a lot of traffic, but it's definitely, um, you know, it's not dead. You don't want, you don't want to go in? You want to check around uh, back or something? Uh, I mean, you should, uh... It's nice to hear that so far in the future, the Brooklyn accents really held up, you know? Yeah. This guy got me going. I know, I know. I, I, I the bartender, <laughs> yeah, and then Ryan I, picked I it up. I figured we're probably from the same area of the city. I go. didn't want to go southern, so I had to do something. <laughs> Is either that or this would just be Austin part two. <laughs> Yeah, I know you got to play like uh, a, a little Weasley wizard guy in our next game or something. You've been playing like these big beefy dudes, you're right? You're the one that wants to, you're the one that fucking makes us random roll every time. It's no, like a I super, asked. Super soldier every Listen, time. Random asked. rolling is definitely superior. I have yeah. always had a good time random rolling. It, it, it's it's good time. But anyway, so what are you guys, what are you guys up to as the, uh, the gaudy, the gaudy lights of the, the lucky flight um, just flash down upon your eyes? What's our goal? Like, do we want to keep the data or do we just want to destroy so it? So he, um, well, that's up to you guys. 
So I'll yeah. just give you like in, in plain speak exactly what he needs. Um, so he knows that there is a, a power source in the basement. He told you that, uh, which, you know, is alluding to the fact that, hey, maybe you can cut the power. Maybe you can destroy it, whatever. Who knows? He also told you that there's um, offline data somewhere in the basement or somewhere else, potentially in the hotel. So he wants you to wipe the data. Honestly, that's it. Or or he said, shut down the casino entirely whatever that means like like shade said maybe it goes up in flames who knows maybe the whole apartment building above it as well you know it's really <laughs> hard to tell what fire is going to do yeah who know, who knows what's going to happen <laughs> what if we get the car and we make our money back and sell the data the debt to the highest bidder like oh, Shane oh. takes off his goggles and was like, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> now you're Can thinking we... like a dirty punk fool. I like it. I'm sick of being broke. I have 70 credits. Actually, no, what? 45. So, what are, what are, what all of our, remind me of yeah, what all of your debts are. I know. We're about to rob you. <laughs> <laughs> what are I all owe, of your debts? I owe 28K. 28K, okay. Yeah, I owe 15k. 15, 12k. 12, and then money. 12. 12. Money. Dang. Money. 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 It's a really oh. Vince, are you in the chat? I should let him know we're playing, so he can uh, correct us on our Swedish pronunciations. <laughs> um, dang. So shade. You were in the hole oh, more than fuck. anybody. Yeah, you're like you're double. Like 15, 12. I'm like, yeah, I'm 20, 28. K. Oh, dang. I own okay. 28. You're going to die before it matters anyway. AI cluster. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah. I just, I want to go in this casino. You want to go see check some it out? Fail. Yeah. Let's All do right. It. Okay. You guys approach the casino and let me get another map loaded up for all of you. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's going to take a second to load. There we go. So the viewers get to see it before you do, because I got to get As we're it. walking in, like, I have music blaring in my headphones, and I look over okay. at Fu, and I'm like, hey, check this out. And I hand you, like, one of my earbuds. <laughs> it's like the worst AI-generated jazz you've ever heard in your entire life. Like, it's really just a cacophony of different instruments playing at different time signatures. I've heard squirrels dying that sound better than this. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, right? But AI I love it. <laughs> I need to change your guys' uh, labels there. You know, just like, <laughs> no rhythm. <laughs> hey, Foo, are you a capital F U or just a big F little U? Uh, capital F, capital U. Yeah, that's what I was hoping you'd say. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to uh, change the tokens out. All right, there we go. Uh, oh, no, Jess. Let me just copy and paste this. Because I'm not going to find the... Uh... Oh, dang. When I copy and paste it, it makes... Here, check it out. Oh, no, it works. Weird. In the in the foundry thing, it looked like a, a cross. I was like, that's very uh, Stockholm Cartel. Oh, we have names now. Yay! Yay. I, you know, I'm probably going to need to do it again. So as you guys... I will open... Are you guys just going to kind of barge in, open the door? Mane is laying down, though. Yeah. Mane. Sure. Mane. Come on. Mane. I think, yeah, I think I'm, I'm just going to, you know, not, like... Shade's so disconnected from reality, he's just going to wander in. Okay. Know? Boom. You walk in. You see two bouncers look over their shoulder right as you guys pass through. Um, this looks to be a place where you would exchange um, uh, for for slot, you know, uh, credits Chips. for for slots. Chips. Chips. That's what I'm looking for. Chips. Chips for uh. credits. So you walk in. It stinks like stale beer, synthetic tobacco, and vomit and piss. Of course. Piss. Yeah. Okay. I knew it was coming. Okay. You see stickers and graffiti <laughs> just all over the walls. Um, then you hear the sound of the city around you as well. And uh, the buzzing from a broken body heat sensor. 
But yeah, mm. people are in here exchanging oh. credits for chips and then uh, pushing their way into the casino. The exchange, how is it happening? Is it person to person or is it digitally ran? It's like a little line and they're just like swiping something and then getting stuff and going back in. Okay. Yeah. Smells like home. <laughs> you can see some people are already drunk, stumbling around, like going over to the broken uh, body heat sensor and thinking it's a it's a uh, chip exchange machine. Well, so the body heat sensor, like it's just a to trip an alarm, like it just. Yeah, potentially. That's what you would think. Yeah. All right. I'm like, you know, I've got my goggles on. You can see like just images flashing on the screen, but I'm still like looking around. Yeah, you look around, sides. you take in everything in this in the smaller area shade, and you do notice that in the corner, both corners of the room are these really shitty fake plants that are trying to disguise cameras. Okay, what gotcha. kind of plants? What yeah, what kind? Uh, I'm not a plant guy. I don't know. It's got a stem and some leaves, and there's a little, snake uh, plant. yeah, snake plants. Snake sure, plant. there you go, snake plants. She knows the answer. That's it. <laughs> or mother-in-law's tongue. Isn't that also mother-in-law's no. tongue? Yeah. Okay. Is that what you call? It? I've I've heard something, that. Something something something. Your mother-in-law's uh, tongue. Something something something. You see, know? it originally it's called a snake plant, right, but it's also it called now. like Saint George's sword or something like that. Because the actual name is something about a dragon, but then it looks like a sword. I like the mother-in-law. Something something stuff. Saint George's sword. Something something. Yeah. So I immediately plants. realize it's it's <laughs> fake because I'm a big fan of snake plants. Oh, that's a, I didn't realize that. Okay. Every cuz they look every like a character. Else. That's kind of the uh the continuum of the the Ryan character thing. Sure. Plant? Okay. Giant super soldier and snake plants. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. Um but uh, I look over at Fu and I'm like, so uh Rich boy, you paying or what we got going on? <laughs> yeah, so you guys, if you want to, you can get some chips here if you'd like. Oh, can we go yeah. in without? Ooh. Oh, I'm getting chips. Okay. Getting how much are you? How, how much are you going to exchange? Twenty-five creds worth of chips. All right. <laughs> All your creds. All your creds. <laughs> yeah, gamble. I'm just gonna get ten. Ryan, have you ever seen me play a smart character ever? <laughs> <laughs> You ever seen me play? I mean, played good smart ideas out there. That's uh, I've seen him play smart characters, but not smart tire characters. Have I mean, good decisions. Um, <laughs> how many creds do I have left? Is there? There's not like a cred, oh cred right here. Okay, so I you gave me how many? Fifteen, twenty-five, twenty. I think. Oh wait, was I actually giving you credits? <laughs> Remember, you gave me credits for the gun. Oh, did you actually use them? I don't remember us actually ever. Yeah, one hundred percent used them. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. I have no credits then, so I guess I'm not gambling. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I had forty. I think you gave me twenty-five. The gun was sixty, and so I had sixty-five. Five. He took ten off, so I got fifteen credits left. So I'll give him back uh, ten credits. Okay, so he can do a little gambling. And I'll I'll, I'll exchange in my five. <laughs> I'm also now a burro. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll okay. get five. So you guys get your chips? Oh, you get some fucking chips or what? Ah, don't gamble. Ah, see, it's all infectious. Right. You're going to start talking like me soon. Can't We're stop. all going to start talking like you. <laughs> Listen, let's uh, <laughs> stop wasting our credits on fucking hair wax and do a little it's gambling. Just, sauce. just a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Just a couple. Yeah. Do, do five. Okay. So we're like, uh, yeah. We you go inside? Go I'll buy him five. Okay. Yeah, five. I thought you just got ten. Listen, Fool's the kind of guy that doesn't gamble. <laughs> he just, like, doesn't really gamble, only gambles to, like, drink for free, you know? Mm -hmm. get Is it free to... drinks while we're gambling in here? I asked one of the scary guys. No. No. Well, that sucks. Shape, shape fell down in two now. Okay. Your tokens are like... Uh. 
I know. Why are they sideways? What? Just rotate them up. Oh. How do I do that? I can do that? If you alt mouse wheel. Oh, wait. What is it? There we go. Ooh, it's not system. Control. Alt. It's control. Sorry. Okay. Did I do that to you guys? I think so. Oh, sorry. Here. Let me have How dare you? Me. How there dare you mess with my token? There we go. Oh. All right. So you guys have your credits. You guys can hear this chaotic thumping music coming from the other side. This bright light is just coming through the cracks in the doors, despite how light it is in here. What do you do? I I think I'm, you know, just going in. Going in like a cowboy. All right. Yeah. So you kick open these doors. Well, I shouldn't I shouldn't say that for you. Um, this place is tacky, space space themed, run down. There's lights everywhere. Nothing nothing is cohesive. You you walk through. The carpet is sticky. Your feet are just with every step sticking, regardless of where you step. You look down. You don't really see anything. So everywhere is sticky. Um, you smell uh, an artificial air conditioning that has a hint of roses on it. But more than anything, this obnoxious, obnoxious sound, which you guys may like, I don't know, is coming from the center stage right here. There is a band on this platform. So these are, um, these are slots. Oh, wait, can I not point? Oh, there we go. These are slots right here. There's a band on this platform. There's light shooting out everywhere. I need you guys to roll me a D6 and let's see what band is playing right now. Somebody, anybody. Ooh. Four. Okay. I must leave. Doom Punk. So you guys, um, actually, so what, the way this works is these bands, depending on what you roll, they'll give you certain buffs. Um, this one actually Ooh. is for um, uh, the enemy. So negative oh. one on oh, morale shit. rolls. No, it's negative okay. one on morale rolls. So. Oh, okay. On their morale? Yes. Yeah, you guys don't roll morale. Nice. This is some doom punk. I'm down. Yeah. My guy's down. There we go. Okay. I definitely cranked up the music in the playlist now. <laughs> oh wait, wait, there's a there's a pretty metal one in here somewhere. Where is it? On White Bat? There's a ton. Is it doomy? There's a really good one on the gore playlist. Bring my white bat audio ADHD mix. Dang, where is it? I think it's on this album. There we go. There's some, I don't know, maybe that's some Doom Punk. Sounds like metal to me, but whatever. Okay, so you guys step inside. This band is just going at it so hard that everyone's going to suffer a negative one morale, yeah. apparently. I immediately get lost in the sauce. <laughs> I'm just like. Yeah. Oh, like moshing in the over. middle of the casino. Yep. There yep. we go. Now the stream can see it. Sorry, I forgot to move the GM token in there. So yeah, you guys walk in. Uh, it smells like roses, even though you got sticky boots all over the floor. Uh, the band is rocking out. Um, sticky boots. You see, it's for band. <laughs> yeah. That's our band. <laughs> you see people yeah. just furiously working at these slot machines. You do see, however, though, um, a lot of these security officers as well. So there's one here, one here. One here. They're kind of just keeping an eye out. You know, if anybody starts to uh, cause any trouble, they get them back in line. Um, you, you get you give them a good look look up, and they, they have um they only have tasers though. They don't see you don't see any uh, firearms on their on their belts. They're wearing like a like a, a protective vest, not necessarily Kevlar or anything like that, but some kind of light armor. Hmm. Cool. Is there a craps table? Uh, you don't see one. Out here, it looks like it's a bunch of slot machines. You do see a shitty vending machine over here. Um, and there's a there's a building here. There's a set of doors over here. And you see, mm. and you, you kind of check it out, and it looks like it's a, a card room. And then over here, you see... All of these, just in the distance, it's, it's very kind of hazy and foggy over there. But there's all these crazy lights shooting. There's people wearing VR headsets uh, running around, so shade, you, you feel uh, very at home over nice. there. But it looks like a bunch of teen punks running around playing shitty 
shitty simulations or something like that. And you do see that there is a, uh, a bouncer up here as well, keeping them in line. You also see stairs. So there is a stairway going up here. It goes around this little walkway to another staircase that leads up to, you can't quite see high enough, but it looks like a balcony. It's not a wall, so it looks like this will lead up to another level of some kind. But Foo, it looks like you're standing close enough. You do see on the stair that says, um, there's a chain that says VIP, do not enter. That is blocking the staircase. What do you guys, what do you guys want to do? Um, Actually, somebody roll me a D8 real quick. Dude, sorry. McGlintlock, I love that there have been multiple times where I try to click to roll something and an ad bot pops up instead. <laughs> it's like so good. It's like so I annoying literally get a pop the best up. way. Yeah. Okay, Hunter, uh -huh. you got a seven. Okay. Noted. I take notice of none of this, and I am still just what are you banging. Doing? Oh, like, you're rocking out. Sit, okay. I'm like, I'm like against the stage at this point. Just like, is there anybody around me, or is it literally just me? Uh, no, there's people around you, but you're you're definitely taking up most of the space because you're you're a big boy. Oh, yeah. Let me uh, let me show yeah, you no, the band. Is... There's some cool art too. This is the kind of stuff that we used to listen to when we were. Uh, when we were wasting uh, rig cores and mowing down roadrunners, you know? Yeah. Band. Yeah, I'm making my way towards the VR room, you know? Okay. So this is what you, you're seeing when you're headbanging. Oh, fuck yeah. Does that guy nice. have like a cow skull? Like... <laughs> Yeah, man. A horse head. He's got. A, it's that a horse. Metal as shit. Horse head, man. This is the most metal like fucking metal casino shit. in the world. Yeah. Fucking keytar, kid. Don't get more metal than a fucking keytar. Yeah. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Looks like an it's axe, though, kind of. Yes, yeah. it does. But yeah, this whole thing, it. It, nothing matches. You got these these punks up here rocking out, um, light shooting away. But then, like I said, everything else is very space themed. So it seems like. Um, it's just a complete mix of, 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 of aesthetic. So this is definitely not on the strip. This is like, yeah, you're near the pool. Yeah, the yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. This is not prime time Psy. This is, uh, off the beaten path a little bit. Cool. Well, like I'm the gonna, gold I'm gonna nugget. fucking, I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna okay. Grab. All right. Is there a car? You said there's a card room, right? Uh yeah, the card room is over here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a seat in the card room with okay. my ten credits in chips. So you walk into the card room. Fifty credits. So what's in. interesting about this place? <laughs> let me move the uh, the GM token in there so the stream can see. So in this place, um, you see a bunch of uh, tables situated around, but it's it's very hazy in here. It's like, um, it's, it's super foggy, foggier than the, than the VR area, but it's, it's like this re relaxed paradise Island kind of vibe. Uh, mm. you see these glitching hollow projections of the beach. Uh, there's large plastic ferns covered in dust and grime. And, um, every time you breathe in, you got to cough because, uh, you're not chain smokers like Fu and, um, no, I actually have a respirator. Oh, so. that's right. <laughs> I'm like, never mind. You're good. <laughs> And Morden Joe is all right. But yeah, you uh, see more of these uh, security officers uh, walking around, too. Two of them are guarding the door, and there's a few more uh, just kind of meandering. Any other patrons in the in the room? I mean, yeah, there's, there's people sitting at tables. Yeah, yeah, there's some people. And I know there's some... Hang on, let me find the, uh, the gambling. There's a gambling little mini game. Yeah, there we go. So, um, RP it as much as you want, but pretty much it's uh, you rolling a 3d6. So you decide how much you want to bet, and then you roll a 3d6, and whatever that result is will yield, you know, do you lose, do you win, does something else happen? Cool, I'm going to bet all 10 credits. Okay. So you sit down at this card table and... 
all in. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So uh, roll me a 3d6. So you got nine. Oh, man. You lost it all. Sorry. I like, laugh and I turn to the person next to me. Who's the person next to me? Is there a person there? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Hey, hey, it. can you can you stim that or or glitch that or? Um, yeah, I'll say you could. I'll say you could stim it. Why not? No, I'm using my stim my my stim on the <laughs> one HP on, on gambling. No, I'll take. I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to talk to the person next to me and, you know, maybe get them to buy me a drink or tell me what they know about the um, the casino, the bar. Okay. Yeah. Um. Roll me another uh, D8. Three. Okay, one second. All right, well, I find this. What are the rest of you guys doing? You know what I'm doing? You're still headbanging? Oh, yeah. Okay. What about Ooh. Fu and uh, Molne? I get it right. The I don't know. security yeah. guards are they wearing like a specific, like, outfit? Like, can you tell that they're security, or they just look like random people? No, yeah, there's there's definitely like a, a, a mildly space themed outfit, you know, like shitty okay. shitty Star Wars, but they have like a vest as well, some kind of armored light armored vest, and they look like they have little earpieces where they can you know communicate to a degree, and they have tasers on their hips, so. That also gives them away. But yeah, they look like they're wearing a uniform of some kind. Do they only have tasers? Or does it look like they only have tasers? Yeah. All the ones you've seen anyway. Looks like they only have tasers. Nice. I mean... All right, Hunter, roll me a D12. Three. Okay. Please be good. Please be lower, better. So, um, <laughs> lower, better. So, uh, this woman sidles up next to you, and she has uh, transparent clothing. And uh, she's showing off her nano infestations on her body. Nice. She's like, what, what, do you, what do you think of this? Just got it. Wow, that's impressive, you want impressive hardware right yeah, there. Yeah, I want a closer look. Yeah, and she kind of turns around. Yeah, everything's transparent. I'm here for the show. What are you here for? For a good time. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Yeah. Buy me a drink. Buy me a drink. Oh. Jinx. <laughs> Sorry, lady. Uh, lady can't buy first date. I don't know. That's that's some misogynistic shit. I don't really recognize those type of uh, standards, you know. She sticks her bottom lip at you and just kind of, hmm, and then kind of <laughs> walks away very slowly, making sure you get a look at um, every every inch of her transparent clothing. Nice. That went really well for me. <laughs> <laughs> Always. All right. Um, what about the rest of you? So Reeve is still headbanging. Um, Monet uh, and Fu, what are you guys up to? Um, I'm smoking a cigarette. I've got my cup of chips. Uh, I want to kind of inside scope out where the security cameras are. Okay, let me uh, move. Hang on, sorry. So yeah, uh, you just want to see like just gather all the positions of them. Yeah, Basically. I want to yeah, kind of like walk around the perimeter, see if I can spot all of them, but also check out all the people losing all their money because it brings me joy. Okay, yeah, you see them. They they seem to be um, pretty much on every major area. <laughs> so there's one over here by the vending machines. There's one over here on this wall by the slots. Uh, there's one up here uh, near the the stairwell. Um, there's one back in the uh, the hollow area. So it, it, it feels like they're configured in such a way to where they're going to get like a, a good view, a global view of this this space here. Okay. Uh, 
All right, I'm going to make my way back to the slots. Okay. Yeah, this, these are all slot machines, so all of this stuff here, all these glowing things, mm -hmm. those are all slots. All right, can I do a slot? Is there yeah, yeah, yeah. a game mechanic for it? It's the same one, so uh, roll me a 3d6. Where did the uh, thing go? Ten, hmm. same result. Lost. Sorry, yeah, you lose. How much did you bet? Everything? No, I only have five, so I'm just doing one at a time. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So what's Fu up to as uh, Monet is um, losing some creds? Uh, uh, Fu's just trying to. He's he's stumbling around to not stand out. Kind of look drunk like everyone else um he's trying to get a sense for the security does it seem like they're paying like a lot of attention or they just kind of seem like off in their own little world no they're paying attention for sure they they're not like super you know they're not high paid security right so right they're a little lax but they're keeping kind of like a rent-a-cop kind of situation like a walmart security guy maybe they're just casually keeping an eye out but they're not like falling asleep in the corner or you know, drunk off their ass or anything like that. Okay. Um, this door down here, I forgot how to point. But... Uh, you got to just long press with the mouse, left mouse. Oh. Yeah, it's like built in now instead of having an add on. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this door down here. Yeah. Is there any like signage around it that says where it might go? Yeah. To? It says uh, staff only. Hmm. I'm gonna like kind of just stumble drunkenly in. You're gonna stumble drunkenly in, okay? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, one second. Let me get the. Uh... <laughs> yeah. So the door is open. You make your way inside. Let me move the uh, token over here. There we go. Now stream can see. Okay, you stumble into the staff entrance. So you see um, uh, lockers, uh, there's a coat rack, but you, well, the funny thing is you notice there's all these motivation, motivational posters. There are people in here. It looks like they're getting in the, they're, they're changing their clothes, they're putting on their, their name tags, et cetera, et cetera. They're, they're drinking some, some kind of coffee maybe over in the corner. Uh, but you see uh, these motivational posters plastered on the walls. Some of them are peeling down. Uh, they're kind of faded, even though no sunlight gets in here. Uh, one of them says, We soar as high as our whale's pockets are deep. And another one says, They play, we don't. And the last one says, Spark joy! With an exclamation point. You also do see something, um, for whatever reason too, people or two, there, there's, a, there's a handful of employees in here and they don't really pay attention to you as you kind of make your way in. And you get a glimpse of, um, it looks like there's an elevator of some kind right here. Like a service it, elevator potentially. Is it open? Uh, well, there's like a door, so. Right. Yeah. Um, if no one's really paying attention to me, I'm guess I'm just gonna kind of stumble around and so why don't you give... yeah why don't you roll me a um as your let's see what would be an incon inconspicuous check uh probably a presence okay so why don't you roll me a presence to see if uh you can navigate your way through here relatively safe okay absolutely not <laughs> even even your uh, stim won't help you there so you do this, and there was a woman. Um, she she had the locker open, and it was concealing her face. She was digging inside, getting some stuff. She finally closes the closes the locker door, starts putting on some lipstick, looking in a mirror that's that's there, and she looks over at you. You know, she side eyes you, and then turns her head. Are you the new guy? You you can't be coming to work like this. All fucked up. You're gonna get fired. Oh man, we can't lose another one. We're short staffed tonight. What's your uh, name? What's your name? Wait, wait, uh, I got I got the roster. Hang on, hang on. And she goes over. Nico, Nico. You don't look like a Nico. Uh I was a adopted 
they renamed that's, me. That's not the name your, your mother gave you, huh? No. Anyway, uh, anyway. What size are you? Uh, medium? Small? What are you? Me medium. Medium? Yeah, I doubt it. All right. So she goes over and grabs you some kind of um, staff clothing. And she throws it at you. It's clearly been worn before. She, uh, well, well she's, she kind of nods to get dressed. And um, she looks down at um, a, a name tag and starts marking on it with just an ink pen. Sorry, budget cuts and all. We're going to have to go old school. And then she throws it at you. Now hurry um, up, hurry up. And she kind of, um, she walks out the door. She's tucking her shirt in, going out, checking her lipstick again on yet another mirror on the side of the wall. I guess I'm going to get dressed for my first day away. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, let's pass it back uh, while you get dressed. Uh, people are kind of looking at you strangely, and then they, you know, they just shrug it off. Um, Shade, what are you up to now as the transparent clothed woman walked away from you? Um, so I'm checking out these slot machines. <clears throat> Is there a way I could discreetly try to maybe hack into one of the ones that's kind of in the corner or off to the side where it's not directly in the eye side of Oh, you're going to try to hack, eh? I just want to I just want to read through the code and see, you know, what the what the deal is, you know? So you're going to check one of these right here by the stairwell? Okay. Yeah, if I can so be like, you know, I'm I'm kind of sitting down, pretend like slumped over pretending like I'm drunk and like plugging my you're going to um, kind of get a read on it, basically, right? You're not, like, trying to exploit it. You just, just kind of... Totally. I'm, there's no exploitation. I'm just... It's like in Skyrim. I'm just looking in your pockets. I'm not taking <laughs> anything. It's not illegal until I try to take something, so... Okay. Sure. Um, why don't you roll me a... Well, I guess you can explain to me... So there's people kind of walking by periodically. So explain to me how, you, how you're going to casually... It's your deck you're going to jack into this thing right with, right? Is that how yeah. how it works? Gotcha. Yeah, my de my deck, my big deck. <laughs> um, yeah, so you know, I've got my big poncho on, and I'm kind of like leaned forward, and my deck is like, you know, it's I assume it's on like a um, like you know the shoulder like bags. You know, everyone's putting the fanny pack, but they're putting the here like that kind of thing. You know, it's under my poncho. I like lean forward, and my I plug into like a connection port, and I'm just like passively reading data like i assume they're on a network together right so they're all running concurrently okay um and i'm just i'm just watching um you know what what functions are running um like what the outcomes are um you know it's like if you if you do inspect on the web browser and you refresh it and you try to like look through oh, everything they generate, okay okay um, what what kind of information specifically are you looking for like down to how they name the functions, like how for the work, like is it like you know easy easy loss? Is it continuously like the no win situation, or like statistically are people just only okay. losing? So um, are you trying to see if these things are rigged, or are you just trying to yeah, see like totally. the I'm to totally see if they're rigged? Okay. Um, yeah. So it looks like I see non app hacking. I'm guessing that's what would this would classify yeah, I think this as non app hacking. So, so. then um, I I just need a um, a knowledge test, but actually. I'm going to ask for two rolls, one to see how smoothly you're able to, you know, keep out of the eyes of cameras mm -hmm. as well as passerby. So give me a, um, let's see, sneak agility test, I guess. Um, okay. Um, can I go ahead and use my stem on this? You one? can. So that's a D4. Yeah. I, yeah. You haven't played with this before, but what we do is we, we call it beforehand. Yeah. Before we roll, so yeah, go for you it. You know, I've you know I've watched. Several oh, okay, I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm gonna, so I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to make this uh, a DR10 as well. I'm going to lower the difficulty rating a little bit because the security here is pretty shitty. The camera that is pointed at you is a little bit like it can't yeah. quite hit the angle right, you know. So right. you're like, okay, I think I'm I think I'm all right. Fucking, I just clicked. Oh, that we got a, we got a. Uh, not a bless, but a uh, a bane. Well, a, a bug for me. So mm, it says bless. So no, that's probably... 
thank you, yeah. uh, Insane Ozo, man. <laughs> okay, Appreciate it. so it looks like I don't even need to roll the stem, but... Did you, know. you get... What did you roll? 17. Oh, shit. Nice. Any chance you want to be really cool and let me just roll that stem over to max roll and just let me use it then? Yeah, yeah, I'll let you do that. All right, cool. Go for it. Oh, dang. And yeah. a 20, 19. Whatever. Holy shit. You are slick. Slick Plus, as fuck. Yeah, it was a 23, so... Damn. Look at that. Man, I really should have used my bug on that one. No. Okay, so yeah, you, you jack in, you start uh, scanning the code base and seeing all that. And it does feel, it does feel like these machines are a little rigged. Okay, do it, since I rolled so high, do I have any like deeper level of access than well, I what, what are you kind of What are you kind of looking for? Tell me what you're looking for. So like, you know, if they're running programs, they'll be running functions that like, like uh, the, the, the figure out the, like the very, like the past two variables and like bring out uh, whatever the number is that, um, they would use to decide a win or a loss. Like if I read the code for that function, can I see that the code is written to be like a, a overall fail, like fail the majority of the time? Yeah, I would say so. Okay. I would say okay. that, yeah, you see that these are rigged uh, definitely over 50% of the time uh, to cool. a little bit. Yeah, favoring that. You can also tell that the code is, it's not the best. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little shoddy. Around? Yeah, what do you want to do? I want to make it so where they they pay out. Oh, like in, the uh, whatever to inverse it, whatever amount they were like. To, like so lose, so if it was like if it was like 60, 40, 60, 40 you want to yeah. do forty sixty. I'm gonna flip it. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. You do that. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. And Success. I unplug and I walk over it and I'm like, hey, does he want to have like five credits or something I can borrow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have five. I'll slap it to him. All so right. I, I fucking gamble those five credits. Hell yeah, on a slot? Yeah. Okay, roll me a 3d6. Oh shit, yeah. Okay, let me find... Actually, I'll give you another d6 on top of that. So 4d6, so go me, roll me another... Oh dang. So you got 18. And now I need to find the gambling. Okay, so you got 18. Dang, okay. So um, your bet times 10 is returned in credits. Nice. But because okay, but... because you um you hacked in, you have a little you have a, you have a better read on the system. You saw something just flash on the side of the screen. And it looked like it quickly scanned your face. Ah. And then turned back off. I walk up to, uh, is everyone kind of, wait, oh, wait. What's Fu doing? Is Fu still getting dressed for work? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay, well, I walk back to Ryan and I, I slap him 15 credits, so. Or the equivalent in, the, like, the, the chips. Okay. So, I so we, yeah, you vaguely, uh, you almost get knocked over because he's still over there rocking out, arms flying, or flying around, I guess. So speaking of Reeves, speaking of Monet, what are you guys, what are you two up to? Still rocking? That's it? You're just headbanging the whole time? Brian's no, home. I mean, if I see, <laughs> if I see that he just, you know, made some money on the slots, I'm going to go over and be like, oh, all right. Um, let me give him a brook. All right, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna slap <laughs> all 15 into the slot. I'm just like hold on to the slot machine, still just like and like hit the button. You're gonna you're gonna play. Yeah. Fuck all it. right. All right. Well, um, roll me 46. How much are you betting? All of it. Just slam it in there. Five. Okay. So roll me 46. No, no, no I got 15. He just gave me 15. Oh, 15. I Sorry. Got 15. Yeah. All right. Oh, you lost it all. <laughs> easy come, easy go on 4d6. I rolled on wah, 11. Wah, wah. How? Yeah, I know. How 46. does that even become a thing? Jeez. Man, I even broke the machine for you, you know? I know. The only thing I can see is it's only showing me a one. I can't see the other ones. Maybe they're black, so it's not showing. Uh, let's see. 4214. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, nope. you guys can change the visual. 
of the uh, the feed over here. If you go into the settings, it's per user. So I have it on green hell right now on the stream. Oh shit! I just sorry. I, I read that insane said it's a uh, stem. Who do you want to give the stem to? So I get the um, the bugs against the players. So who do you want to gift that uh, that stem to? I'll change the overlay. Hunter. Hunter. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Man, you are back. You're back to one, and I'm back to zero. Sick. Actually, um, I forgot to ask, but Ducky, roll me a D8, please. Three. Okay. All right. Uh, Reeve, you just lost some cash. Monet, what are you up to? Um, I was at the slot <coughs> and losing, so I see that uh, Reeve, it, or not Reeve, Shade is winning big so i'm gonna go to his slot unless he like corrected all the slots i think i yeah. changed the code for the system yeah oh, so yeah all he the did slots are working better. he did and so on that on that note thanks for reminding me you are seeing faces light up around the casino more so than like usual that. i don't like it and you do notice that yeah some of the um the security guards start looking at these people because it's yeah it's 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 more people than should be winning um, as if maybe they are in on the, um, the, uh, the hacking here. So, or the no they have yeah. the knowledge that things aren't quite square. I'm going to, I'm going to bet my <laughs> remaining four credits. Okay. Roll me a 46 and see what happens. Okay. I know that we lose it all again. <laughs> I know. Oh shit. 18. 18? Okay. Again, you get uh, 10 times your bet returned. Mm -hmm. But also, you see this little little lens pop up and phew, scan your face really quickly. <laughs> you kind of like flinch, and it, and, it, and it shuts off, and there's no... Is that happening to other winners around the room? Yeah, if you look, you do see that. You okay. do see this, and you, you can definitely tell they are, you know, tracking these people. Because it's um, they're being flagged as the uh, the easy winners for some reason. Okay, um, let's move back to uh, who went last. It was so Monet, Reeve. Did Fu or Shade go last before them? I think I think it's been a while for Fu. Okay, back to Fu. Fu, let's go back to Fu. So you are getting ready for your first day of work. Um, oh what do you want to do? Um, I want to check out that elevator because okay, there's got to be a way down to the basement. Definitely. So you walk over there. Let me move so the stream can see. So you walk over there and it, it, it looks like a service elevator. You can open the door if you'd like or hit the button and open the door. Yeah, I'll hit the button. Okay. Um, yeah, so you hit the button and it looks like it can go up one floor and down one floor. Oh, and I forgot to mention as well, there is a door. There's a back door right there. I love the oh. back door. Does yeah, it, it looks like it's uh, another another staff entrance nice. that potentially leads to the outside. Uh, you can you can hear the the patter with it. You know, despite the thumping of the music in the main room, you can hear the patter, the beat of the the rain on the metal. Um. I'm going to go check it out, see if it's locked or not. Okay. It is. One second. So you go inspect this door. It looks kind of beat up. It's seen better days. Um, why don't you roll me a 1d4? Okay. Okay. You try the door, and it is definitely locked. Is it locked from the inside? Like, am I able to unlock it? Um, yeah, yeah, you could. I'm gonna unlock it. Okay. Or, yeah. 
you unlock it. Um, I'm gonna take a peek outside just to see where it is. Okay, so um, you peek outside and you're hit with just just this gust of wind and acid rain. And it gets in your eyes, and your ears start ringing. And you just put your hands over your ears, and then you wipe your eyes clean, and you realize it's not your ears that are ringing, but it is an alarm that is ringing. It's just woo, 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 woo. And you're standing here all alone in this room. The thumping of the music outside. I guess the door over here is probably closed. And this alarm is going. Everybody hears this. Like throughout the casino? Throughout the casino. So, uh, Monet, Reeve, Shade, everybody's looking up. These security officers are heading over toward the, uh, the, uh, the staff entrance. And you guys, did anybody see, uh, Fu go in there? I don't know. Would you guys pay attention? No? Okay. Um, I'm trying to think where I was when Fu went in there. Um, I think you were over, weren't you? Weren't you over, like, talking, like, over in this area? I was talking to, um, the hot, uh, cyber infestion lady. (laughs) (laughs) So, um... (laughs) Okay, none of you guys notice in there, but yeah, you see all these security guys rushing toward there. Some of the bouncers come out, and they're kind of keeping the crowd at bay. You can see some people trying to run outside with some credits to take advantage of the confusion. They're stopped. They're tased. The door busts open as these security officers pour into the room. You see them come in, Foo. And that is where we're going to end it tonight, everybody. Oh, man. So, um, <laughs> leave it on a little bit of a cliffhanger. So, again... Thank you for joining us for our first Cyborg official session, adventure session. We'll be back next Thursday at 7 p.m. McGlintlock, thank you so much for the uh, Foundry setup here. It's making our lives easier, definitely mine. Um, Go check him out, glumdark.com. He's got some cool roll tables. And uh, Carl Casey, my man, thank you for the tunes. I'll be rocking out next week for sure. Um, Any other announcements or anything else we want to talk about before we, we cut the stream? Um, not, I mean, I guess, I guess, uh, slightly cyborg related since it comes from, uh, Stockholm Cartel, but on Sunday, um, Hunter and I on the weekly scroll will be talking about Farewell to Arms Redux, the massive, like, World War Merkborg project from, uh, Rivethead Games, the Tyler Lindsay and Josh Denham Astro Lich. So, um, yeah, that'll be, think, that'll be a fun Astro, one. Will this be Astro Lich's second or third time on the show? Second, I think. Second, okay. Yeah. So, uh, so like much. I said, yeah, slightly Merkborg related or, or Cyborg related since it is Merkborg, it is Free League. Um, and I think that's, uh, that's all I got. Cool. Well, again, audience, thank you so much for hanging out with us on the stream. Hopefully you'll tune in next week. We're going to go to a little thank you screen and, and, and maybe just stick around for a raid. So thanks again. Check out the weekly scroll coming up and then... See you guys for more Cyborg next Thursday. Have a great night. Bye.